All right, guys, I got some bees behind me. I got two packages of bees from uh, Nature Images Farm in Zanesville. Um, I'm really excited about the genetics they use. I think they're going to be really good for Ohio climate. And man, it's only an hour away. That's a, that's a, that's a huge deal to have something like that uh, so close to us. And um, a big concept I wanted to talk about, this one's called the birds and the bees. And I want to talk about how um, I love farming practices that run with the grain of nature, not against it. And, um, and that happens by, you know, I initially got into chickens because I wanted to bring my own fertility uh, to, to my, my own homestead. And chickens are wonderful at producing uh, their manure, especially with that wood chip system I use at producing uh, nice, healthy soil for me to use for garden beds, to put on my soil, to make great use of my garden scraps and my food scraps to create uh, nutrient-dense eggs and meat for me. Um, but another concept, so that's gardening and that's, that's you know, uh, chickens, but another concept is pollination. So I like to bring bees on my homestead to pollinate uh, my garden, my fruit trees, and I'm creating a nice cycle of everything working together, and I think that's emulating nature. Um, even in Nature's Images uh, Farm and their, and their name, I love that because they're trying to emulate what they see in nature on, on the farm on their own terms. And um, I, I had talked about a Wendell Berry quote that says he's for agriculture that, you know, goes with nature, not against it. And I think uh, there's a huge concern about pollinators, about the amount of pesticides and herbicides uh, large-scale farms are using. And, um, and it's becoming more common practice in local communities. And there's large environmental concerns and health concerns for the surrounding uh, community members. But the solution around this, in my opinion, is more small farms. So if every community has more small farms uh, providing food, uh, so more human input, you can start getting away from big machinery and, uh, and pesticides and herbicides on our food. And then also, you know, killing our pollinators, um, which we are desperately dependent on if we want to have food in the future. And, um, you know, Jesus's greatest commandment was, you know, love your neighbor as yourself. And I don't think that's very far from love the next generation um, as, as your generation. So um, the things I wish uh, I could see in my generation, I want to be, um, um, you know, as Greg would say at, at Nature Images Farm, is I want to be a lighthouse and I want to be the change that I want to see uh, for my kids to inherit. And um, we just live on a beautiful world that God... Uh, God gave us the steward and um, I just think there's a lot of different practices with how we can relate to animals and vegetables and communities and start to bring that back to a small state scale and restore our communities.
Yeah? yeah. Do you see the bees? Do you see them in the hives? Right there. Right there. All right, let's look. Let's see. They made it. The bees are looking nice and healthy in their hives, aren't they?